have you ever been on social media and you see someone in their Instagram stories and they're just reposting and reposting and reposting of people posting their stuff? I know that was a tongue twister, right? But you probably weren't expecting me to go that way. So the reason why this happens is not even necessarily because the content that they shared was 100% good. It had to be good enough for people to watch it, right? But a lot of times people share content because it's shareable content. It's something they actually want to share. So whether it's inspirational, educational, or simply funny, they still want to share it. So a lot of times if you're feeling like, oh my goodness, I'm making videos and like it's not getting anywhere or it's not getting the traction that I really wanted to have. One, think about your initial motive and why you actually created the video. Two, think about the actual video content that you're talking about. It may not be relevant to your audience and I talk about making user generated content first is really a great way to build your audience and build your video content because it's stuff that people really really want from you that's why it's called user generated they're telling you give me this and you're giving it to them okay so that's the first place to start as far as having a content distribution plan that really is heavy on on shareability okay the next thing that you want to think about is what are you doing in the actual videos are you being educational? Are you being empathetic? Are you showing emotion? Are you storytelling? All four of those things will actually be a contributing factor to whether people watch, listen, and share your video. And if you can get them to do all three, it's a money maker. And I don't mean necessarily the coins, I just mean everybody wins. But I guess I do kind of mean coins too because if it's something that you might be um, like marketing a product or a service, then it works. So. You definitely want to keep those things in mind. And I, another thing that I want to share, and, and I'm sorry, I know some people are probably going to give me a thumbs down and I don't really care because whatever this message is for, it's for. But there's a lot of data that gets thrown at us. Oh, your video needs to be this long and this long and this long. I don't necessarily follow those rules all the time. I'm being honest. I make a video for the messaging. Some of my YouTube videos are five minutes long. Some of them are 15 minutes long. Some of them are an hour long. And some of them are like three or four minutes, which this one might be. My whole point is I like to focus on the messaging. Once I feel like the messaging is really on point and what needs to be shared, that's how I determine the length of my video. Now, yes, I know, I know, I know, I know the experts say that, look, don't listen to that. YouTube data says the drop off this. I'm not saying that that stuff doesn't matter. It does have a place, but I also feel like people get so worried sometimes. Oh, 30 seconds. It's got to be 30 seconds. And so honestly, if their video was like 38 seconds, they won't release it because it's too long. Like if 38 seconds was the time needed to actually transmit the message from camera to person, right? From camera to view or the person who's viewing it, then put the freaking 38 seconds out there. That's my point. All right, so I hope that that answered your question. If you have any questions at all and you're new here, please, 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 first like and subscribe. But if you like it, like if you like it and you want more from me, then go and do it. If you have any questions, definitely drop them below. Listen, most of my videos are from questions that people are asking me, so, Drop your questions below and I will answer them. I'm Anisha Collins, founder of Learn With AC and also owner and operator of Unashamed Imaging. And I wanna see you be the best video blazer that you could be. I will see you next time. Peace.